that was offered by Warner, or did it come out of your pocket? No, it came out of my pocket. Oh, okay. Yeah, it came out. Of, yeah, it came out. It came out of my pocket. Um, of course, uh, they had the tuition reimbursement. You know, it, it right when, when if you go with Warner, and so uh, I only I only could stomach six months with Warner because the paychecks weren't weren't enough. Uh, uh, they didn't go with a, they didn't go with the amount of time I was on the road. And so um, I had to leave Warner, and I had to move on and go and go seek, seek some more money. I got so you. So of course, once I left, yeah, once I left Warner, yeah, it was back on me to pay my my tuition back. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So we we all we all know how Warner is, especially for new drivers. Mm-hmm. They you know they Definitely. they try they they try mm-hmm. to pour the milk and all like that, but the milk is sour when you get in there. And I understand, you know, I, I understand you're a new driver and everything, and it's all about the, it's all about the experience. At least that was that was it right. for me. That but, was it. But unfortunately, you know, mm-hmm. unfortunately, you you got bills to take care of, and and, mm-hmm. and you figure the OTR, you know, the OTR to to check variants ain't looking good i'm i'm out here hmm. giving you about mm-hmm. three or four weeks and i'm only here getting yep. like three four five hundred dollars don't mm-hmm. look right mm-hmm. and i'm here yeah, and i'm man. hearing everybody is making the upwards of a grand of 1500 i'm like man. that's hey, and that's hey, y'all that's that's a that's a misconception i'm just letting y'all know yeah. now <laughs> that's mm-hmm. a misconception mm-hmm. you know and, and what i tell people now you know i've since i've been in the industry man i've had I've, i have one client who is a truck driver now one of my old clients from washington she drives now i have another young lady uh her and my niece are really really good friends uh I've been knowing her since they were we, we all you know come from california from pasadena together she drives um, there's a couple of, of men who I, my brother drives now. There's so many people who have gotten in the industry after me based off of, you know, seeing me and calling me and just different advice and just different things right, that I've, I've right. poured into them, you know. Um, but I always say, take that time. Don't come in industry looking to make the big bucks right away. Take the time that you need to learn, learn this industry, learn these trucks, learn how to maneuver these trucks, backing, um, get your experience up. I tell everybody, do at least six to eight months to a year. Just don't, don't focus on the paycheck because it's not going to be that great, but get your experience up. Let I, that be your I've been focus. Say, I, I've been saying that for years, man. I, I've been saying mm-hmm. that for years. A lot of people... A lot mm-hmm. of people always want to jump to this. Uh, to this now is TikTok. I mean, they just. I mean, it, it, they just came mm-hmm. out of the woodwork. Like, where did fuck they mm-hmm. come from? And everybody over here, like, mm-hmm. you know, I, I got, I got, I got one that got a lot of followers, and she this and he that, and you know, and I'm being influenced. I'm like, well, they, uh, okay, whatever. So, mm-hmm. but, uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, fly trucker. All right, so. Later down the line, uh, you you know you mm-hmm. drove you drove company. Um, mm-hmm. uh, what happened to you? I want to say maybe about a year ago. I, I want to say you, you was in an accident. Um. Yeah, I had an accident in the truck. I uh, I've had two. Probably, yeah, I've had two. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, but let I'm me, glad you. I'm. I'm glad you're here. Uh, what? Yeah. What thank happened? You. What thank happened? You. Because I know, I know one of them. You, 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 I, I, you, you did a Facebook post. I'm. I'm. I don't know if it was either a post mm-hmm. or a video, and you was talking about it. But, um, but what? What happened? Well, you know, you know how these these four wheelers. They try to maneuver around us. They try to cut us off. They try to beat us and the whole nine. This particular day, I was in Ohio. I was coming. Um, Damn it, man. Was that? You had to be I, in Ohio yeah, in your, your state. state. <laughs> yeah, your, your state. Yeah, <laughs> your state. Your state. There you go. Um, and, and I was coming.
coming out of a construction area. So, of course, majority of the times when you're in a construction zone, they prefer the truck to be in the left-hand lane. Okay? So I was in the left-hand lane. I had about 40-something thousand pounds in my trailer. And um, so once we once the construction um, is coming to an end, we're merging into a bigger highway. And because I was in the left hand lane, uh, when we when I when we merged into the bigger highway, it put me in the fast lane. So I, again, I have all this weight behind me. So of course, it hinders us from getting up much speed so quickly. And um, I'm coming out of a construction speed, trying to get into the regular speed, but I'm in the way. People are dotting around me, and I, you know, so okay. So I look in my right view mirror, look look at my my hood mirror to make sure nobody's in my blind spot, and I put my blinker on, and I I go to get over. But there's an oncoming. So there's a couple. There's a few different things going on. You got the exiting out of construction into a bigger highway. Mm -hmm. Then to the right, you have a highway merging onto another highway. So as I'm getting over to get to get uh, merging or uh, going right to get over into the middle lane, a car tries to pass me that came on from the other highway merging onto the highway I'm getting on, and she tries to cut me off. Try, and trying so to race the front, trying to race me, trying to beat me into the lane instead of just letting me get over and waiting and then either speed up and then get over or slow down and get in behind me. Whichever one mm -hmm. will work. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, so, so what happened was, of course, I'm getting over. She's trying to get in. My front, my right front bumper hit the back of her car. And it, it sent her, well, I didn't even know, man, because, you know, we sit up so high and, and she had like a little two-door car or something. And all I knew was I'm like, dang, did I just have a flat tire? Did my steer tire just blow? blow? Yeah. Because my steering wheel, I'm trying to gain control. And I'm like, something, what in the world? So finally I, pull, I turned my wheel to the left and it freed her because I guess she was stuck. Um by my tire up in the front. Okay. So when I went to the left, it it freed her, but then it sent her spinning around the whole front of my truck. I mean, it was like a movie, something I, I mean, literally spinning, doing a circle around the front of my truck, and she ended up in the fast lane, the shoulder of the fast lane. And then, of course, I went on and I got over and I, I had to get, you know, park on the, the right hand shoulder. Right, right. And um, so that's what happened. Thank God she was not injured. Um, they did call the ambulance out to check her because I guess she she felt she was kind of short of breath or something. Just probably just, you know, anxiety. Yeah. You know, try, the whole try, thing. Try, try, and, um, try, trying to milk it, even though it was her fault. We, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It try, was her, exactly. Trying to milk it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. So, so I, you know, so they, they called the ambulance out. They checked her. She was okay. And uh, again, I was grateful she was, she wasn't injured because that was my main concern. And I couldn't check on her because she was across five lanes of highway. Right. You know what I mean? So I had no way to go check on her myself. So of course, when the, when the police got there, they went checked on her first and then they came over to me. So the first question I had for him was, is she okay? Because as that you, was my main concern, as you should, and then yeah. er, and then every and, so, and then everything else should be hush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you, the first thing <laughs> okay. that come out, the first thing that come out of your mouth is, "Yo, is is they okay? Yeah, they they good. Mm -hmm. All right. So can you tell me mm -hmm. what happened? I'll tell you what mm -hmm. happened from my point of view, and then any questions exactly. after that, you be hush about it." Don't yeah, exactly. Don't don't. What, yep. Yeah. Don't don't. Uh. Yeah. Just be hush. Last time I tried to give advice on this, everybody mm -hmm. came. My comments like, "Oh, what well, you telling them not to say anything?" No, 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 no. Because when the lawyers, <laughs> trust me, when the lawyers there get involved, when the lawyers get involved, they use everything mm -hmm. they against you. 
everything. And well, I'm going to tell you, it and started. It started right then. And that's why it started right then. And that's why I tell people, you know, of 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 social media because they love to hey y'all, look what happened to me. Uh and then they try to video and all like that. I was like, "Yo, why 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 why?" why? Because they're going to they're going to use they're going to use that against you. So you you in court, yeah. you you in court and saying, "Oh yeah, you know, yeah, I'm hurt." It wasn't my fault, but yet we got the video right here that you don't mm -hmm. look hurt, mm -hmm. and you're talking about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. let me tell you, I, I'm going to say this. Trucker, please have you some legal representation. Luckily, thank, thank God that I have legal chief. okay? And I don't go to court. I'm not stepping in foot in court. I have a representative. I have an attorney that's going to handle that. And um, they're going to fight for me. So when you, when you say, say less, that's not, that's not, you're not trying to have anybody try to get over on anything. No, it's really say less because you, you should have somebody that's going to fight for you. Okay. Now, just briefly, I want to touch on this. The, the, let me uh, let me say this right away. The 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 less okay. you, the mm -hmm. less the less you say, the better your lawyer mm -hmm. can help you. Go ahead. Exactly, exactly. So after I asked the officer, was she okay? He, he let me know she was okay. Um, another truck driver had pulled over that said he saw everything. He pulled in. He pulled a little ways behind me. Well. The officer said that the truck driver said I came over on the car and that she was wedged up under my trailer. Now, <laughs> how can that be when I have a skirt on my trailer? There's no way a car can be wedged up under your trailer and you have a skirt under your trailer. Mm -hmm. Okay, now had I not had a skirt, then may maybe that could have been a little believable. But no, that wasn't the case. Okay, so... Then he said that, I again, I couldn't see what kind of damage was done to her car because she's way on the other side of the highway. And remember, I, I hit the right side, I mean, the left side of her. Right. So her right side is what's showing. Okay, so then, he, then the officer said that the whole left side of her car was damaged. Okay, now just remember all this that I just said. So. Oh, yeah. I, once I went and got the police report, I had to make another trip to Ohio to get the police report. Thank you, sir. We're done? Okay. All right. Give me one second. I'm find my find my bills. So, and I'm off for the weekend. Ooh. That's what's up. <laughs> this doesn't deliver until Monday. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You too. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Okay, um, so <laughs> when I got the police report, now remember he said, the driver said she got wedged up under my trailer. How about none of that was in the police report? None of it. You know, as soon as we have an accident, we have to go take a urine test immediately. So I had to get off the highway, get, come, go, come back the opposite direction, because I was going south, so I had to come back north. So I was able to actually see the damage that was on the other side of her car. Just like I said it happened, that's where the damage was. It was from her door, the back of her door, to the bumper. Now, he said the whole left side was damaged. So just see how people try to trip you up. You know, the people out here to try to get us truckers, and it's not right. Exactly. But thank God, that police report, the witness written statement was in the police report. And I saw the damage done to the woman's car. So I just, of course, passed all that information on over to my attorney. And she went and, and presented everything for me. Guess what? I didn't have a fine. I wasn't found guilty. No, nothing. That's what's up, man. Everything was as I said. So, 
So right. when I say you need legal representation, that's what I mean. Get you some. Pay your money. It ain't that much. Pay that little 60 some dollars a month to have you somebody just in case you need it. Now, Fly Trucker, the the company that yeah. you was driving for did did they have you did did they have your back, or they they nope, they it was they, Snyder. Nope, mm. not at all. They they terminated. So I had so I had my own truck. I was only leased under them. They terminated my contract for pulling their freight. I had five loads that I had already had pre-booked. Okay, and these jokers terminated, but without knowing the facts, without knowing anything, but without wow. the court hearing anything, they terminated me. They sure did. All right, so yep. you now you said that you did the truck you was driving. That was your truck. Your truck. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when did when before you talk about the other uh, the other accident? When did you go into owner? Mm-hmm. When did you dis, when did you go into owner operator? So, um, a, not even a full year prior to getting that truck, which was um, a 2020 Freightliner, I bought it in 2019. Um, I was lease purchased with Roadrunner. And how you doing? And so, uh, once I got the Freightliner. Um, I looked for a driver for the Roadrunner truck because I didn't just want to, you know, I was just going to do my term and then take that truck out of Roadrunner and bring it somewhere else. So I uh, I got a driver for it, and um, it didn't work out. So I ended up having to just let it go back because I had already had another truck. So anyway, so that so owner operator, I guess you could say, came in when I was with Roadrunner. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. uh, we, we, you know what? We're going to touch on the 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 woes of an owner operator, but go ahead and touch on the other accident that you that you had, and how long ago was that? Uh, that accident actually was probably maybe about a year and a half ago I want to say maybe a year yeah about a year and a half ago I was in Washington State um again you know I used to live there so I I had taken a load up there and I spent uh, maybe a few days and I was actually coming out and I was going southbound on I-5 and in another construction you know construction is everywhere let's just say that I'd be glad when they finish fixing these, these highways but anyway <laughs> that's a whole other show they ain't going to uh, never happen Man, I'm so tired of the construction. Okay, so it was another construction area. Okay, you know, they, they narrow the lane in construction area. So I'm in the middle lane. Um, a car on in the left-hand lane, the fast lane, came over in my lane. And I turned to the right to avoid hitting him. It hit, it hit a car in my right-hand lane. And... um Man, yeah, he it blew his tire. He lost control of the car and hit the guardrail and pretty much totaled his car out. Uh, again, thank God, thank God he wasn't injured. Um, the company I'm leased under, we just we just handled it cash, and we didn't have to go to court on it. Okay, um, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, yeah. so so the woes of owner operating for a woman. You, hmm. you you said that uh, you, you you brought you another truck, the new truck that you got. You didn't want nobody to drive. You said, "Bump that! I'm driving this. Here, drive this mm-hmm. truck right here for me." <laughs> exactly. What, I, I, how hard? How, well, how hard was it to find somebody, and what was the issues between you and that person when you found them? Well, um, it took a minute, man. I I put out an ad on Craigslist. I had um, a few ads going around in the trucker channels on Facebook, different things like that. And um, one thing about lease purchase with a company, not only do they have to pass all of what you're looking for, 
they also have to be hired by that company. So I had a couple people that I knew personally, but for some reason, they couldn't get hired with Road, with Road Runner. So this.